Have you ever had a incident where you first hear something or see something and you think that it's an original idea and you're really impressed? You think, wow, that's so creative and clever. I'm really impressed. But then, years later, you discover that actually that thing that you saw was a reference to something that had happened earlier. So you watch the original and then you realize that the first thing you saw was just a blatant copy of the original. And that kind of dampens your mood because you think that the thing that you first saw is actually just really boring. So, I was watching the cartoon show Dilbert and it was the episode where they decided to bring Ben Franklin back to life and bring Ben Franklin asked how you know he wanted Ben Franklin wanted some updates on how his inventions had been going for the last 200 years so he said how's the post office is it a model of efficiency that I always envisioned and then Dilbert said, actually, it's terribly inefficient, stamps are really expensive, the lines are really long, and it's gotten to the point where the phrase going postal refers to when someone goes crazy and shoots up the place. Now, that was the first time I had ever heard the phrase going postal. So. I assumed that it was an original invention by the people who made the Dilbert cartoon. And so I thought, that's really clever to just out of nowhere, from nothing, to just imagine that there's this phrase, going postal, which refers to postmen going crazy and shooting up the place. Yeah, very funny. That was probably my favourite joke of the entire cartoon series. Years later, I discovered that actually going postal was a real expression, not something that the Dilbert cartoon had invented, that in fact there were incidents of postmen shooting up the place and going crazy and firing on large groups of people, and that's where the phrase came from. So it was an actual part of our culture, this phrase. So Dilbert had just basically just made a um, you know, it wasn't a bad reference, but there was nothing great about it, and it was just a reference to something that's already established in our culture. So it, it wasn't trying to create anything new, wasn't trying to explore ideas, wasn't trying to subvert our expectations. It was just a reference to something that exists in reality, which is perfectly fine, but it's not, you know, it's not a triple A comedic material. Not a piece. It is not a piece of AAA comedic material. And so I was just rather disappointed. And so I've learned, you know, over the years I've learned to be more skeptical. So whenever I see an original idea on a cartoon, my first thought should be that this is an original idea that they've invented themselves. But more and more I'm growing aware that people mostly just steal stuff from other people or make winks to other people or make indirect references and so whenever I see something that I've never seen before my first instinct is this is a part of pop culture that I just haven't witnessed yet and eventually I will witness it and I'll get the reference and that'll be the end of that which is sad but it would be nice if every piece of content that I ever saw was completely original, but maybe that's unreasonable to ask. Or is it? Why would you bother taking the time to create a piece of content if you weren't going to make it as unique and special and amazing as possible? Why bother doing all that work if you're not going to create a gem.